Thank you, each of you uh, for, for being here. And thank you for uh, including your, your family members, each and all of them, young and old. We, uh, we like to have them here before the committee. Let me, um, let me begin with you, Ms. Evans. The committee has, has focused a, a fair amount of attention um, to the issue of, of cybersecurity, making sure that um, uh, we're properly um, paying attention not only in terms of resources, uh, but just really what we are doing um, from a broader uh, perspective, recognizing that within DOE, DOE has been designated as the, the sector-specific agency for, for cyber. Um, with this new office, you, you are, you're it. You're basically um, defining the, uh, this cybersecurity office. So just very briefly, if you can share with the committee how you anticipate uh, moving forward with this new office, um, ensuring that there is a, a smooth transition here, uh, ensuring that, that as you're standing this up, that the focus that we need to have on the issue of cyber more broadly um, doesn't get kind of moved aside because you're doing just more of the administrative um, uh, stand-up. So if you can speak to the role of this new office and how you believe this office uh, can help advance our cyber security. Thank you, Senator, for that question. Uh, throughout my career, based on my experience, I've always had the opportunity to take advantage of being the first, which um, helps me institutionalize whatever that concept is within a department or an agency. And so I'm very excited with this opportunity in this new office going forward. A lot of work has already been done in the Department of Energy as it relates to cybersecurity. They have recently released a multi-year cybersecurity plan. So a lot of the groundwork has, is there. It is my intention to leverage that work and to partner with other offices such as Bruce Walker's office that has led this effort and to be able to implement and actually make a lot of these things actionable plans. Because the time now is not necessarily, I don't want to admire the problem anymore. I think a lot of us have done that through the years. Um, it's really now to execute and to really start looking at how do you make these systems more resilient? How do you ensure that you have a response plan, that you exercise that response plan, and you do it in partnership with private industry and state and local governments? Well, I appreciate that. And... Uh, um understand that your role will also be um, trying, to, trying to figure out how this all intersects together, uh, even outside of, of DOE and, and, and the role that you have there. Ms. Donaldson, um, uh, it was impressive to, to learn of your background, um, uh, clearly um, impressive credentials. Uh, I think you know that as uh, Inspector General, there is an obligation, there's a duty to report to Congress. There is also um, a, uh, a requirement, if you will, or certainly an expectation that there be uh, uh, very clear independence within the office of the Inspector General as um, audits and investigations that uh, might move forward under DOE proceed. Can you speak very quickly to uh, how you will not only ensure the independence of your office with regards to audits, but how you will ensure that the communication uh, between the Office of the Inspector General and, and Congress um, is, is facilitated and uh, I'd also like your assurance that you will respond to members of Congress in, in a timely manner when requests for information are made. You, you need to go ahead and push that button. <laughs> on, on the issue of responsiveness, um, I think that's probably one of the most important things that the Inspector General must do. So it may take some time to marshal the facts and develop a thoughtful response but it will always be a top priority of mine to get back to Congress as quickly as possible with a thorough and complete response. 
Um, having worked here for the last year, I have a, a greater appreciation for the importance of that. You know, things move very quickly uh, in the halls, and having all of the facts in place for the decision makers is a mission critical thing to do. Uh, preserving the independence of the Office of the Inspector General is equally important. Uh, in order to be able to evaluate the facts and render findings that people will respect, you have to maintain your impartiality and continue to be independent. Uh, the Office of the Inspector General has done, uh, in my view, uh, so far, an outstanding job of doing that. Their reports are very objective and balanced. The ones that I've, that I've reviewed and the people that I've met in that office seem to really value uh, maintaining the integrity um, and independence of that office. So I'd like to continue that tradition. We'd appreciate that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Senator Cantwell.